It's possible to write the compliance test in Prancer validation framework in Rego policy language. And the easiest way to develop new compliance tests is to have the JSON snapshot available and then use Visual Studio Code OPA extension to develop tests. So because of that, in this video, I want to discuss how to use this powerful and useful plugin. You can see that I have installed the Open Policy agent and you can uh, install on your Visual Studio code as well. And I have an input.json file and this JSON file is a snapshot file of an Azure Key Vault. Basically, it's a JSON file that I want to run some Rego test against that. And I want to see how to do that. This plugin requires the open policy agent executable to be installed in your computer and be added to the path. So if I check that and run the OPA, I can see that the executable is installed on my computer. So that requirement is met. And then uh, you can create some keyboard shortcuts and that's really uh, easy, the process of running the test against your JSON file. And to do that, I can open uh, the preferences and keyboard shortcuts. And you can see I have added two key here, control E and this control E, uh, I will do the OPA eval selection and shift control E for OPA eval package. And these two are very useful uh, when you are running the test. So back to our input file, we have an input file. It's a JSON file. It's basically a snapshot of a key vault. And I have a Rego uh, policy query. And in this Rego file, I want to check some items on my file. Let me put it on the side and open my input side by side. So here you can see that I have put the name of the package. I have a KB, KB variable and it's true if uh, the SKU of the key vault is a standard and some other tests. Uh, the, the first item, you have to name the file input.json. So this is the way that the uh, plugin works. It uh, finds the input.json file as an input to the Rego uh, query that you have. And then on your query, for example, based on the structure of the JSON that I have, I can put a Query that input dot JSON dot properties dot SKU dot name is equal to a standard. And let's say if I want to check just this line, I can open the palette and search for the OPA and evaluate selection. I can click on that and you can see the result will be true because in my JSON file or also the name is a standard. And because I have defined the shortcut for the next item I want to check, I will use the shortcut Control E. So I can select it. I want to see whether the key vault is on a private endpoint. And I can put Control E and I see that yes, the key vault is on a private endpoint. And also in my JSON file, you can see that under the virtual network rule, there is an ID of a subnet that I put this key vault under. And also the next rule here, I want to, for the network ACLs access, the default action, I want to make it deny and check if it's deny uh, in my JSON snapshot file. So if I select this one and do control E, I see that's deny, so the whole thing will be true. If I select, you can see it's true. 
and uh, after I've checked uh, individual line and make sure everything is correct then I can select this KV here and then run a test against the KV with this uh, query and I can see yes it is true and if I want to check the whole package I can check the package with Control shift e and again I can see my variable here is true so here how you can uh, run your rego rule uh, with the help of the plugin that's available for Visual Studio Code.